I'm going to do another video here on a, um, this, this is kind of a uh, spy cam slash body cam. Uh, this one's definitely not as indiscreet as some of the other cameras I've shown you. Um, this one is basically uh, made to wear in your shirt pocket uh, on the uh, top of your shirt, like at the uh, top of the V or something like that. Uh, it's more of an exposed camera. You'll actually see the camera on this one. Uh, this would be good for doing vlogs, like if you're doing clothing shopping or doing uh, try-on hauls or something like that. This would be a perfect camera for that. I'm going to take it around uh, the Tanger outlet here and just wear it, and we'll see what kind of audio video we get. I'll probably walk into a couple stores and just show you what it looks like. Now to turn this camera on, you press and hold the top button. You'll see the blue lights come on. Now again, these lights stay lit up, so um, there's not really any hiding this. Um, if you want to set it up for motion recording, you can hit that button. Basically, when motion came by, it would pick it up. Or you could do audio only. We're going to do audio video, so I'm going to hit the top button one more time. And when it starts flashing, now it's recording. So as you can see, it's not the most pretty looking uh, thing, uh, at least on me. Uh, if you had a V-neck, uh, like I said, this is probably more for um, anyone walking around trying to vlog, uh, walking through stores, clothing try-ons. Uh, you just want to keep your hands free while you're talking and looking at something, uh, possibly even working with it. I'll try a few more things while I'm working later today. Uh, anyhow, like I said, I'm going to walk around a little bit, see what it looks like, see what the audio sounds like, and we'll go from there. So as you can see, it's not the most pretty looking uh, thing, uh, at least on me. Uh, if you had a V-neck, uh, like I said, this is probably more for um, anyone walking around trying to vlog. Uh, walking through stores, clothing try-ons. Uh, you just want to keep your hands free while you're talking and looking at something, uh, possibly even working with it. I'll try a few more things while I'm working later today. Uh, anyhow, like I said, I'm going to walk around a little bit, see what it looks like, see what the audio sounds like, and we'll go from there. Now, hopefully the whole purpose of this will be, again, if you're out shopping and you want to show um, what you're looking at without having to um, actually use your phone or hold a camera out in front of you, uh, this should help out a lot for that. I'll watch the video back later and I'll see how many people actually eyeball it.
I've got it underneath my glasses now. Um, I'm gonna walk through another store, see what it looks like under there in case you're trying to keep more uh, covert. See what it sounds like, see what it looks like. So I deleted a lot of the footage out of there. Basically, I'm six foot tall, so that camera was hanging about, I don't know, five foot eight inches off the ground. So I'm aimed higher than what I would like to, to, to normally be. Um, sometimes if, you've got, if you're gonna use these cameras, you have to experiment with them a little bit. Um, Audio-wise, sounds good. Video-wise, sounds perfect. So I'm quite happy with what it would do. So if you're gonna use it to vlog, like I said, if you're doing shopping, Sorry, dogs keep finding squeaky toys. So if you're going shopping or something like that and you're going to hold up the clothes in front of you and talk about what you've got, uh, this would be excellent for that. Again, it doesn't take up your hands, doesn't take up your space, and it doesn't really look really bad. Uh, with the sunglasses covering them, the sunglasses you can see perfectly clear through the lens, but yet um, you couldn't really tell there was a camera underneath it there, so that was a good way of going covert. Um, overall, really good camera, inexpensive. I'll put the link in the description below. And again, I'll try to readjust it and I'll do another update um, probably next week uh, when I get time to play with it a little bit more.